Mr. Rector to see you, sir. Malachi Rector. Dominique said you had something you wanted to speak to me about. I do. I have a proposition for you. I'm listening. I'm afraid it's very sensitive. I need to speak with you alone. Court is my employee. I trust him implicitly. I'm sure you do. But I don't. Sorry, but I can't risk it. Very well. Court, please excuse us. Well, what do you have to say, Mr. Rector? To be blunt, Mr. Carter, I'd like to work for you. I'm done with Feta. They've lost my trust. Interesting. What makes you think you have a skill I need? You knew enough about me to have me attacked in Cairo, so you must know I'm the Savant. And you appear to be very interested in Mobius technology. I am indeed. But I'm not clear on exactly what services you can provide as the Savant. Can you explain? I can identify the patterns. My knowledge of history is extensive, and I seem to have a certain intuition that's hard to explain. Hmm, I'm intrigued. Perhaps you could give me a demonstration. I can do it right now, in fact. On you. Be my guest. Perhaps you can tell me something about yourself. Oh, no, Mr. Rector. That would be cheating. I want to see what you can do without my help. This photo is recent, and the younger daughter has no escort and no wedding or engagement ring. She appears to be unattached. Photos of Carter with various political leaders. Carter doesn't hold an office, yet he's clearly cultivated many political connections. This has to represent a lifelong passion. Carter was a major general in the US Army. I think I know enough about Carter to do my analysis.
I know who you are. I'm listening. You're a kingmaker like Richard Neville, the 16th Earl of Warwick. You married your oldest daughter to a media mogul. That kind of control over the press is critical to a kingmaker in this day and age. But your younger daughter, she must marry a politician. And not just any politician, but THE politician. You're not trying to destroy Senator Markham. Not the man who could be the greatest president of all. No, you want him in the family where you can be his puppet master. That's why you wanted to get rid of Livia Drusilla, so that your daughter can take her place. Forgive me, Mr. Rector, but that's a little frightening. The best weapons are always frightening. So do you want me in your employ or not? Name your terms. I want Captain Walker returned, unscathed. Is that all? No financial demands? We can talk about money later. I'm not convinced about Walker. He's too loyal to the rulebook and the flag. He'll be trouble. I'll keep Walker on a tight leash. That's not your problem. Hmm. Don't misinterpret this, Rector, but you're a beautiful man. I believe you can keep Walker on a leash. Very well, but I'm not a fool. I'm going to need proof that you're willing to switch sides. What can you offer that will convince me? This data key has a file on FITA employees. It's yours if you give me what I asked for. Yes, this is quite acceptable. We have a deal. Captain Walker is still alive, and I've requested that he be kept that way. Get your men excited if I were you. The location in Qatar has already been sent, and Dexter knows I'm here. What makes you think I'll let you walk out of here? Do you really think I care that Dexter knows you're here? You're the Kingmaker. You tried to kill Captain Walker because he's presumably my moral compass or some such nonsense. But the Savant, the Savant you want to control, you want that very much. If I can't control you, no one else will. You've read my profile. I have no loyalty. Fita does not control me. They're merely an expedient means to an end at the moment. I would have been more expedient. I can keep him alive. Now he'll be dead before anyone can get there. But you already gave your instructions. And that secured phone is your only quick line of communication with them. Why wouldn't I simply text them again and change my mind? Go ahead. Jesus Christ! You're insane! Till we meet again, Mr. Carter. <laughs>